what is up you guys time is back with another Lincense video today i have a fragrance from latafa the mason alhambra lineup but before i get into that i just want to say thank you guys again it means a lot to be playing on those electronic devices whether it is that cell phone that tablet that macintosh maybe that big screen tv that you just bought you're supposed to open it up for christmas and you said Let's open it up tonight, babe, because we got to watch that guy talk about fragrance, Mr. Lincense. He's, he's got a new fragrance up, so let's crack this TV open. You could be watching anything else, but you chose to watch me. So, again, thank you guys. Again, it means a lot. And um, let's finally get into this fragrance. Hey, if you guys are new to this channel, if you guys like what you see, hit those likes after you watch it. Because you're going to hit that like because you're going to like it. And then comment and then subscribe and then share this channel with some friends and family members okay so again we do more than just smell good we eat good we like to drink good as well we do it all on this channel so be on the lookout for that but anyways <clears throat> again mason alhambra you guys already know i got a few of them from that exact line of mason alhambra we got yeah the the super duper clone of y from ysl then we also have this bad boy Eventually, I'll do a review on this one. I'm um, just trying to figure out what this is a clone of so I can be uh, better off prepared with this one. Now, I do not know what the clone is on this one neither, but that is what you guys are here for. You guys are here to do the homework for me so I don't have to do it. Guys, enlighten me a little bit. Give me a little bit of knowledge, escape. So, that being said, let's finally get into this one. This one is called Anarch. Like Anarchy. So, um, Anarch. What is the clone of? Again, I have no idea. I could research it, but it's better off just to read what you guys got to say because you guys probably stole it from the website anyways, and I could just read your little comments, and uh, I like reading those comments. But anyways, Anarch, here we go. Big, beautiful box. I'm assuming this is going to have a nice presentation because usually these big, fat boxes like these are pretty decent as far as presentation-wise and... You know, it feels almost like this this container, or this box, it's kind of almost, I'm not going to say it's wood, but it's like a nice hard plastic. The whole box feels very smooth. Um, everything all the way around. You got this little gold band. It's actually not a band. It's actually the way to lift that up. But overall, this box looks pretty dope in my opinion. There goes some batch code down there. I do have some dogs wrestling right in between me. See, if you guys were helping me out a little bit more, I'd be able to sit up a little bit taller so the dogs aren't bothering me. They're literally wrestling right in my lap while I'm doing this video. So, uh, again, bear with me. So, uh, if you hear a crunch-like noise or uh, a yelp, it'd probably most likely be me from one of these dogs accidentally nipping me in the sack. Or it might be one of them from accidentally biting each other in the sack. So who knows? So it depends on what that Yelp sounds like. Look at this guy just right in front of me. Look at that. Wow. Wow. Again, they don't give a damn what kind of video I'm doing. They don't care that these subscribers are helping him get his kibbles and bits. Uh, if he keeps this up, he will be going back to that uh, Elroy stuff from uh, Walmart. So uh, he better learn his lesson get his food from Whole Foods. So he better uh, he better move if he wants to that real stuff. I'm gonna get him out the way, here we go. Finally, now he's back, go wrestle that way. There's plenty of room, literally. There's a whole house they can wrestle in and they are wrestling in my lap. I have no idea what it is, look at this. You know, we don't wanna uh, harm any pets. There's no harming of any animals in this video, except for themselves harming each other. But here we go. Anarch, let's finally get into what this bad boy smells like. I hope you guys enjoyed a little bit of that commentary of the dogs wrestling. So, um, here we go. Man, take a look at that bottle. Sitting so pretty and lovely and nestled up in that box. Pull this out. There's a nice little bit of cushion around here. So, man, this thing was literally sitting in there pretty like this. And there goes that, what is this called again? A tassie? A tassel? Uh, when you graduate, is that what it's called again? The tassel, right? Yes, the tassel. Though, so there, here we go, man. Overall, look at this bottle. Let me pull it out, man. The bottle has a nice weight to it. The cap, mm, cap is a little flimsy. Thought it was gonna be a little heavier than that, but overall, the bottle does look stunning. The bottom has this kind of big, wide open 
cut out. And look at this. Wow. Here they come again. Running laps uh, right in front of me. We are going to hold on to this uh, tripod, hopefully. And um, we will get into this fragrance. I guarantee you guys, you will not be sorry because this fragrance looks like it's going to smell good. If the juice on the inside is anything like this presentation, we are in for a treat. But overall, this bottle is stunning. The whole presentation is stunning. So here we go. Look at the top of that cap again, too. Nice little design right here, okay? Almost um, super cool design, okay? But man, take a look at that in a collection setting, okay? We will make some room right here. Look at that. Tell me that does not look awesome in that collection. Yes, it is a little blurry, but I got that blur effect on. So you can imagine what it looks like when it's in clear view. So here we go. I'm sitting on a damn tripod. Here we go. Look at that. Here we come again. Let's see if we can smell anything in there. No, we cannot. So, uh, before I spray this, let me just let you guys, let me tell you guys what is in this juice, okay? We got top notes of jasmine, bergamot, lang lang. We got some grass in the middle. We got some pear blossom, some lily. We got some peach. We got some violet leaves, some heliotrope, and some rose. And then at the base... We got some amber, vanilla, ebony woods. We got some sugar. We got some cashmere. We got coconut and tonka beans. So pretty much, this is pretty much a note monster, okay? When I say note monster, that's usually more than 10, 15 notes, and this one has it. Um, now, this says it's a unisex fragrance, but reading off of these little uh, notes, this most likely is going to be a feminine fragrance. Definitely could be unisex, but leans probably more towards the feminine side of things, but here we go. Nice wide distribution of juice. <sighs> you guys, this is this is definitely unisex. Um, although it screams more on the feminine side of things. But you guys, one thing I can tell you right now is I'm in like this is our little cubby. It's like the size of a nice little uh, office cubby, if you will. Maybe a little bit bigger, but. Trust me, guys, this is filling up this entire little cubby section. It is fruity. It is loud. It is floral. It is crisp. It is vibrant. But let's get into it. Ooh. Getting a little bit of that rose, too, which is definitely helping out. So it doesn't smell just like too much of like a light floral. It has a little bit of darkness with that in the air. You get this nice, crisp freshness like from a light floral and fruitiness. When you get closer, you get like this dark rosiness, okay? So maybe that's that damask rose. Getting a little bit of that peach. Man, this is... Would I say this is a sexy fragrance? No, but it is a stunning fragrance, if that makes any sense. Sexy is more like, oh my God, get close to me, like that type of thing. Stunning is like head turning, that type of fragrance. This is a head. <coughs> Look at that, no editing here. <coughs> the juice is loud. I'm telling you, it is loud here. This stuff is stunning. This will turn heads. This will make you cough. This is like a new high right here. This stuff smells amazing, you guys. Oh, you know, if you walked into an Ulta or Sephora, if you will, and you sprayed this away, you are automatically going to think this is a $100 fragrance. It smells that good. It smells that high quality. Oh, man, this is the stunner of the top of fragrances, okay? They make plenty of great fragrances. I have not smelled all of them yet, but this is one stunning fragrance. This is going to be for those special occasions, okay? This is, like, again, it's not a date night fragrance, but if you want to wear it on date night, go right on ahead. But this just screams, ladies, if you're about to get married, you want to fill that room with a beautiful smell, you wear this. Fellas, if you're going to wear this, 
Honestly, I suggest no man wear this, to be honest, uh, because if your lady's wearing this, there's no need for you to wear this as well, unless you guys just both want to smell the same. But this is definitely unisex, and I only say unisex because a lot of people just like to wear whatever they want to wear. Again, I say wear whatever you want to wear. If you like the way something smells, go right on ahead. But I cannot picture just a manly man just coming into like a bar and smelling like this. Okay, a woman can wear this anywhere. Wedding church you wear this to work you can wear this out of the shower you can wear this straight to bed you can wear this anywhere it is a stunning fragrance i wouldn't suggest wearing it right to bed because why would you do that but you could literally wear this anywhere you could wear this nighttime daytime summer fall spring doesn't matter whatever the season it does not matter because this thing is loud okay this <sighs> This is a damn good fragrance, you guys. Sorry about me hyping this fragrance up, but there's only a few other fragrances that I hyped up like this, and you guys already know the other one. Mythical. You guys know I hyped that thing up a lot, but this is the next best one right here, okay? This thing is definitely going to make the top five best pickups, whether it's designer or non-designer, Arabian, niche doesn't matter this is definitely gonna be in the top five so, but when i say top five obviously i mean top five as far as unisex now eventually i'll get into those videos where i'm like top five just manly man fragrances but overall unisex this is stunning this is beautiful wifey if she's around we'll get her over here for her opinion on this one now she is kind of stuffy so if she cannot smell this one the way i want her to smell it well just just know it's just her nose is broke right now but it literally is a stunning fragrance i'm gonna spray it on her again she usually has the better skin of the two so um it'll probably smell even better on her but again this is a again unisex fragrance just because you can wear whatever you want to wear but again i will say this is more feminine okay so here we go does that mean i can have it you can have it, but it's staying on the shelf back here because it just looks dope. This bottle looks yeah. dope. That It shoots out a huge blast of juice. It is a wide distribution. Yeah. It sprays a lot, so there's no need to go super duper heavy on the sprayer with this one. You like it? But again, this stuff, you guys, you like it, it is, too. it's crisp, it's fresh, it's floral, it's fruity. But it's not too sweet neither. That's one thing I'm liking about it. It's not overly sweet. It's got a touch of sweetness, most likely from the fruits, the peach and stuff like that. But it is not overly sweet. So, fellas, if you do like those unisex style fragrances, but you don't like super sweet, this one is for you. It smells floral. It smells fruity. It smells crisp. It smells uplifting. It smells stunning, in my opinion. This is a stunner. It's very high in oil, I see. Man. Sorry. Smells good and he likes it. I'm starting to get a little bit of this like creamy woodiness as well coming through. Most likely a little bit of that amber, a little bit of that vanilla. And there's a little bit of this like almost like a little beachiness too. That I'm getting right underneath everything, and most likely that coconut is giving it that beachiness as well. Again, you guys, if this has, I'm assuming because it is as loud as it is, it's going to have some staying power, okay? Again, my favorite part of any fragrance, though, is the opening, okay? That's the part of any fragrance that is most likely going to get you the stares, the compliments, and all that. The try down is somewhat important to me, but not as much because the try down you can barely smell half of the time. You got to get close. So not everyone's going to be able to smell that, but the opening on this is gorgeous. And if the dry down is anything like this opening, which it most likely will be, you got that amber, the sweetness, a little bit of the woods, the sandalwood, a little bit of vanilla and stuff like that. Tonka beans going to get the sweetness, a little bit of that cashmere. Man, this fragrance is lovely, you guys. What do you think of it? I like it. Again, you guys, her I actually smell it surprisingly. Not her like, nose is a little broke right now. It is <laughs> it is stuffy and it is runny and all that. 
But I can guarantee you when that nose is better, she will be reaching for this one on the shelf, okay? With that being said, <clears throat> you guys. It actually, I can smell it with my good nostril, and it does smell really good. This is $55 off eBay. You can get it for less than that. All you got to do is throw in that offer. Do, again, do not lowball the guy, okay? This is not a $10 fragrance, even though it might have cost $10 to make it. This smells as if Dior smells like YSL, one of those higher niche quality guys, Creed's, Tom Ford's. If you put Tom Ford on this, people would be trying to buy it up. It smells that good, yeah. you guys. Okay, so... With that being said, I am going to get up out of here. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed listening to me rant about this fragrance. hope you enjoyed watching the dogs bite, jet bite. in and out of the video. I mean, you only seen... You didn't even get to see his face. He comes over here and tags me and you didn't even show his face. So you guys got to see his there is one here. back end. There's another one laying on us right now. As you can see, we got a nice little t-shirt on him. We'll pull him up. There he is. See? Charlie. Say hi, Charlie. Hi. There this is. is our three-year-old. The three-year-old <laughs> little mutt. <laughs> but anyways, nuts. hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you guys did, hit the likes, comment, subscribe. And uh, by the way, check out this thumbnail. Yeah. Peace. 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 Peace.